Good evening and welcome. The church is remembering the Wesley brothers, John and Charles Wesley, evangelist, hymn writers, and my goodness me, what a good song they wrote. So let's take a moment to focus maybe on them and maybe our favourite Wesley hymn before we come to pray. So now your toes are tapping and you're in the mood for a, a bit of prayer. Let's come before the Lord and pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. The moment of reflection on the day now past. And as we think of the things especially that have gone wrong today, we pray, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our psalmody this evening is Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, who will show us any good. Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only, who make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Isaiah 30, verse 15. Thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest you shall be saved, In quietness and trust shall be your strength. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth, I commend my spirit, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. 
Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, the light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. So, Father God, another day comes to its close, and as it does, the world is as foolish as ever. The world is as broken and divided in so many places. The world is caught up with terrible natural disasters. Father God, it will be so easy for us to look at all the happenings of this day and perhaps with the words of Job ringing in our ears from this morning, that we might be expected to bemoan all that is before us, all that is around us in the world. But Lord, we thank you that living or dying, we are yours. That to live is Christ and to die is gain. And Lord, so with that in mind, we thank you for all this day has been and we praise you for all that has been. Father God, bless, surround, uphold, and be with us. And may we in faith be with you. Lord, in your mercy, and hears, hear our prayers, Lord. Here's our lives. Here's all that we are. Praise you, Father God. And Father, we look at the world and in all the folly we find blessings. In all of the loss we find hope. In all of the need we find answers in you and in the work of good people, people of faith, people of no faith who stand, who serve, who care. Father, as we look at the needs of the world this night, we pray for the broken, the poor, the weak, the marginalised, the lost, the confused and the confounded. And Father God, we pray not just that your kingdom would come, but your will would be done here on earth. Father, we pray for all those this night who have needs, every nation, every community, every place that we know of, every person on our hearts and minds, known or otherwise. And as we prepare to go to our beds, Lord, we lay them before you. That you would be with them, that you would protect them, that you would bring your healing you would bring your peace and contentment and wellness in all things. We 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied, broken, damaged by the changes and chances of this fleeting world, may rest upon your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And so we pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for being with us this evening. May you sleep well, be blessed, wake refreshed and may tomorrow be a day of opportunity and blessing. Sleep well guys, stay safe. Good night.